Hey there, it's Todd from Unique Photo, and today we're gonna to talk about Negative Supply. Negative Supply is a brand that makes different tools so that you can scan film at home. You can scan from 110 film all the way up to 8x10 film using your camera. Today we're gonna to be scanning using a camera that I own. Um, it's the A7R4. We're gonna use a 90 millimeter macro lens, and we are going to be scanning some 35 millimeter film with the basic 35. So the basic 35 um, is a very affordable way to get into scanning your film. Um, so first things first is to prep ourselves up, get on our uh, gloves. Second thing is to make sure we can clean our film, make sure that we don't have any dust. So th the basic 35 millimeter is, like I said, it is extremely affordable um, and runs you in the $100 range. Um, but will allow you to hold this film extremely flat. So our first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna feed this through our basic 35. And the reason why they call it the basic 35 is there is a new Pro 35. The Pro 35 does have a handy little wheel to it, um, which will allow us to advance our film. Our first thing when scanning film, to make sure that everything is level. Um, so before our video, we actually made sure that our table was level, that our platform was level, as well as our camera was level. You wanna make sure that this is completely level so that you can have the best, sharpest image come through. Our next thing we're gonna do is we are going to focus our camera. So as you see over here, our focus, we're just out of focus. And what we're looking for is not necessarily to check focus, but we're going to check to see that we get the salt and pepper look. If you're making an enlargement or anything like that, um, You'll be able to see that. And that tells you it's nice, sharp, in focus. If you can see the sharpness of the film grain. So our next thing is we're gonna come over, we're gonna look at our computer here and we are gonna let our computer do the work of taking the picture. We can then advance our film, just pulling it right through here. Next picture. So next thing that we're gonna do after we've scanned in a few frames here, we are actually gonna take a look on our computer here. And we're gonna go from the remote viewer that I was looking at um, through Sony's program. And we're gonna take a look at Lightroom. So in Lightroom, we're going to first bring everything over and import it into Lightroom. 
So for this, I'm using Lightroom Classic. Um, there are other programs out there. Lightroom Classic just has a plugin for a program called Negative Lab Pro. Um, Negative Lab Pro um, does cost a little bit of money, but it is one of those things of, it has one of the best engines available to get the image. So from import, first things first, um, if you've ever used Lightroom, it's gonna be simple and easy to navigate and look at these. So our grand uh, scheme of things, we're gonna take our eyedropper, we're gonna go to the rebate of the film and or where the uh, sprocket holes would be. And we're gonna basically do a quick white balance check on there. We're gonna use our eyedropper and do that to everything on there. This will just help us adjust everything so it doesn't look wonky after the fact. So once we do that, we are gonna do a conversion process through the plugin system in Lightroom. So we can take everything all at once and we can batch edit these. Um, doing a batch edit is super, super helpful and it saves your time. Um, so we've got five photos that we are going to look at through our plugin and we look at Negative Lab Pro. So what it's gonna do is it's going to actually give us a conversion. So we're gonna just be very basic about this. We're gonna do a source of digital camera. We're gonna do a basic color mode and we're gonna do a default saturation. This is just to show you how quick this actually is. Um, you can get a whole roll of film scanned in less than two minutes. So we can convert five negatives and here we go. Uh, and it's going to convert our raw file, um, still giving us capability of getting shadow area and highlight area out of our film. This is extremely important. This is why you buy the, the products from Negative Supply because they help you make, they, they help you get a better tool so that you can use it. So it's analyzing the third, the fourth, the fifth. And we're at the fifth and we're done. Um, so now we can take these photos that we just sent. We could send them off to mom or dad, um, kind of show uh, everything that we've gotten. We do have through Negative Supply or through Negative Lab Pro, excuse me. Um, we have the ability to adjust our highlights, adjust our shadows. That way we can get the negative that we want. That way we can get the photograph that we envisioned when we took the click, when we made the photograph. So. We're gonna set this as apply, and we can go through this. We can we can adjust in Lightroom still, and we can work it the way that Lightroom has worked. Oh, that did not look as good. Um, but we can adjust with exposure control still. We can keep the top sprocket holes, or we can edit in and we can crop to get just the piece of film. It's that simple. You're able to take images that you photograph basically on a digital camera, on a light panel, um, and transfer them over to your computer in less than an hour. If you were gonna use this process um, using a scanner, or back in the day there was drum scanning. Drum scanning gave you the finest detail and everything. Um, a single frame for drum scanning would, would take about 45 minutes to scan. Today we have 
flatbed scanners that will take about 20, 25 minutes to scan a, a strip of negatives. But now we've moved into the evolution of camera scanning. Camera scanning is gonna take you two to five minutes to scan a full roll of film and really make your workflow a lot faster. 